Welcome to A Weekly Word with Pastor Nate. This is my chance to connect with you, to let you know what's happening in the life of Holy Cross Lutheran Church, and to invite you to reflect with me on this next week's scripture lesson that we'll hear about on Sunday morning. I uh, want to encourage everybody to join us for worship each Wednesday during this season of Lent. We're gathering for worship and a meal at noon and at 6.30 in the evening, and we'd love to see you there. I also want to encourage everyone to make a generous gift as a special Lenten offering this season. All the special Lenten offerings will go to support Habitat for Humanity. This uh, Lenten season, all of our scripture lessons have to do with uh, the covenants that God makes with his people in the scriptures. Uh, last week, we heard about the covenant that God made with Noah and with all of creation. And this week, we hear about the covenant that God makes with Abraham. Uh, now, there are many passages in Genesis, as a matter of fact, that deal with Abraham and that covenant that God makes. Uh, Abraham gets frustrated a couple times that uh, God is not delivering on the promise of the covenant on Abraham's timeline. We hear this next Sunday from Genesis 17. And as we do that, we hear that God gives Abraham and Sarah new names. Now, all of us, I'll bet, know something about the story of how our names were given to us by our parents. Uh, my oldest daughter, Stella, is named after my grandmother, Stella. Uh, Samuel, our son, is named after uh, one of the characters of Scripture who listens to God. Uh, my name, uh, my parents told me, was given to me because Nathan literally means gift of God. I'm sure many of you have names that are either family names or uh, have some kind of deep significance. But we also know stories, both in Scripture and in our popular culture and in our families, of people who change their names, uh, who are given a new name to signify a new identity. Think about Jacob, who wrestles with the angel, or depending on how you read the story, uh, wrestles literally with God and is given a new name, Israel, which literally means to, to fight, to strive, to struggle with God. Uh, Abraham, Abram, is given a new name, Abraham. And that name means uh, father of many. And it's reflective of the covenant, the promise that God makes uh, with Abraham and with all of his descendants. One of the things that we believe as Christians is that in the covenant of baptism, uh, which is a daily dying and rising, a daily living out of a ever new identity and a, a, a continual leaving behind of what doesn't fit in the identity that God gives us in baptism, uh, we are in a sense given new names, new identities, uh, new personhoods uh, that we can live into. Uh, and so the, the promise in this Lenten season is that we have opportunities to uh, not just discipline ourselves in the sense of uh, trying to be more rigorous, more hard on ourselves, uh, more strict and stringent with ourselves, or to follow a, a more stringent set of rules. Uh, our Lenten disciplines are about doing everything we can to leave behind what doesn't fit the identity God has given us and to embrace ever more fully the identity that God has given us in our baptism. And in Abraham, we have a wonderful model of what that looks like. I look forward to exploring this uh, story of Abraham and the story of you and I as we strive to live out our baptisms this coming Sunday. Let's pray together. O oh God, by the passion of your Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. 
Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. I'll see you Sunday.